here's this tracker. It has three panels on it. I've got a all the panels combined here. Uh, they come down into eight gauge wire. Runs over to the shed and uh, goes into my baby breaker box. And then I have this panel right here and I bought some cheaper wire, some 10 gauge wire. And I've got two panels combined right here. Run down a 10 gauge wire over to that combiner box on that pole over there. And then here's just one panel on one 10 gauge wire that runs over to this post over here where I made this poor man's combiner box to combine these two wires together before I went into the shed. It's just uh, some stuff that I had, so it's what I did. I don't necessarily think that each panel needs to have its own breaker. That's a little bit ridiculous. Anyway, they're combined right here in this box, that, that tracker way over there. And then uh, I showed you the 10 gauge wire coming in and it goes over. Anyway, then they come over and they come inside my shed. Then uh, a, a 10 gauge wire from for one set of trackers comes down in here and then an 8 gauge and it goes into this baby uh, breaker box and you can switch the panels off right here if you so desire and uh, there it is uh, a switch box I think I paid like 30 bucks for that switch box and, and uh, then I had to buy the breaker separate I don't remember what I paid for them there it is there you have it then it comes down out of there and goes into my two controllers and into the batteries and then to nowhere no inverter all right thanks for watching mm -hmm.